constant uncertainty. Yes, that is so true. Why do they do that? They create an unpredictable, unstable environment. Now, why do they do that? Well, they have you walking on eggs, right? It's almost like I feel like it is like if you're walking on a landmine and okay, sorry about that. Um, on a landmine, right? And you never know when they will explode because the way that they get you is what I call the roller coaster of like love bombing and abuse, love bombing and abuse. Okay. So by creating that unstable and unpredictable environment, they have you like, you know, they create a lot of anxiety, really. Oh my gosh. When I was with, you know, growing up and also with my partner who was a narcissistic abuser, oh my gosh, I was always anxious. Like I would literally have stomach aches when I got home because I, I didn't know what I was going to expect, you know, what I was going to see, what, you know, what mood they're in or what, if they're going to yell at me or they're going to be nice to me, I would never be able to tell. You can't tell because they keep it like that for you, right? Very exciting. And that was sarcasm. Anyway, so mood swings, inconsistent treatment equals anxiety and confusion. Absolutely. It is confusing in the beginning because you're like, okay, wait, do they love me? Do they hate me? Um, do they praise me? Do they criticize me? What is the deal? What's going on? What's happening here? And after the confusion comes anxiety because, you know, you're like, oh my God, what is, what's happening? And then comes the revelation, right? And the revelation is, okay, so these people, or your partner or your parent or whatever, your boss, okay, they seem to be on edge sometimes. And sometimes they seem to be super nice. It's like two different people. And then you figure it out. It's not two different people. It's just them trying to give you anxiety. Because you know what they do? These people, they actually feed off of your anxiety, of your negative feelings. Recognize oh, the pattern and protect yourself. So if you see that your partner or a parent or your boss is doing the, I love you, I hate you, you're awesome, you're a piece of shit, then... Ding, 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 ding. Alarm, red flags all over. Just be like, mm, okay, I see you. You're abusing me. What do I need to do to be away from this toxic anyway, environment? Let's go to exploiting emotions. Narcs use your sensitive information to hurt you. Oh my God, they do. They so do. So, and the thing, the trick is that they get you to open up because when they're nice, they fake empathy and they fake being uh, caring and loving and it's like an acting job. And so you will confess to them, tell them things that you haven't told anybody and you wouldn't dare tell anybody and honey, buckle up because they're going to use it against you. Okay. Big time against you. So what they do is they deepen the dependency and the control, because if you tell them secrets, then they have an up, uh, what you call it, like an upper hand, right? Then they can be like, oh, okay, so you're going to leave me? Well, I know some okay. shit about you. So they make you dependent on them, whether it's financially, emotionally, um, you know, he would say like, nobody's going to love you like I love you. You know, they put all that, all those words enter your brain. And because you are at a low emotionally, you're kind of like open to them. And also they, they put you down and they, they bring you to a point where you're like, whatever, um, you know, it works. It really works. So my advice, I, like I put on the card, guard your heart and seek support. 